What's good, my lovelies, and welcome to my channel, Lovely Soul Empress. Today, I'm going to be doing Aquarius's What's the Blockage Twin Flame reading. Okay, just a couple of quick announcements. I'm going to be running a sale from now until Valentine's Day, $60 live readings. Um, and it's for an hour, and you can ask as many questions as you like within that time, okay? Also, on Wednesdays, I will start doing uh, live readings with... Um, you know, you can ask a question and I'll answer it for free. Okay. So, um, hit the notification bell so you could be notified when I'm on live. Okay. Also on Fridays, I will start doing frisky Fridays. All right. So we'll be looking at the weekend energy. So that's, uh, what's going on with that. Okay. So, um, I, as always, I have prayed, shuffled and meditated on decks I did get a couple of messages for you guys. So the star came out, which is your card, Aquarius, okay? And also the Knight of Swords. So I feel like there's a truth that you need to say, something you need to get off your chest and you haven't, all right? So we're going to take a look at the situation. I'm going to pull one card for the situation, one card for the blockage, one card for the truth of the matter and the most likely outcome. We're going to get right into it and see what's going on. And I'll also pull from some additional decks. Spirit, can you show me what's going on with my Aquarius gang? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Most important messages they need to know right now. Spirit, for their highest good, for Aquarius. I'm ever so thankful and grateful for the gifts and the blessings. Please use me as your vessel, Spirit. Please allow those benevolent ancestors and Spirit guides to come through and bring forth the important messages for Aquarius. Thank you so much, Spirit. Two of Cups is the overall energy. Okay, so you got the Ten of Pentacles here as the situation. Spirit, why is this Ten of Pentacles here for my Aquarius gang? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Most important messages they need to know right now, Spirit, for their highest good. Oh. Okay. So Ten of Pentacles, this is the family, community, legacy card, all right? Uh, but tens can be endings, so they could have been an ending to a situation. King of Pentacles, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person could be older than you, okay? Wise and stable, right? But the, <laughs> the lovers, right? So um, this is a choice in the, in in love, Okay, that's the card of Gemini. You could be dealing with a Gemini, but look who's here, the Queen of Swords, which is you. So I feel like uh, somebody needed to make a choice in love. It looks like this uh, King of Pentacles, okay? Uh, usually that means that there was someone else and they chose you, but you could be cutting them with your sword here, all right? This does tell me that there is a lot of love here with the lovers and the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Um, but you've got your sword drawn. Spirit, why is this sun card here the blockage? How could the sun be the blockage? Let me see, Spirit. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So the sun is the card of Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo, but this is usually the happiest card in the deck. In this um, position, it's talking about somebody having too much ego, okay? They were working out of a space of ego, and that's been illuminated to you, right? Five of Cups, because there was regrets in love. This person could have chose someone else, and now they're trying to choose you after doing that. Five of Wands in reverse. There's no longer any competition, but I'm getting the energy that you don't give a shit about that. <laughs> All right, now here's the Nine of Swords as to the truth of the matter. Spirit, why is this Nine of Swords here for my Aquarius gang? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Most important messages they need to know right now. Let me get one more, Spirit. Thank you. So um, the truth of the matter with this Ace of Swords, okay, or I should say with the Nine of Swords, is this is sleepless nights, anxiety, and depression, right? Over this Ten of Pentacles. So it could have definitely been an ending, all right? You guys could have been building together for some time, right? Justice, you could be dealing with a Libra, but it wasn't fair in the past. 
there was a need for balance and somebody was working out of ego and that's what tripped up the situation right they could have had you in a competition and you decided you didn't want to be part of that now you got the hangman here as the most likely outcome spirit why is this hangman the most likely outcome for my aquarius gang sun moon rising and venus yeah because uh somebody needed a new perspective okay there was a third party with this three of cups let me get one more knight of cups okay lack of a love offer came out in reverse you could have been waiting for this person to realize like i said they could have chose somebody else ace of pentacles they could have chose somebody else because of money i do have the ten of pentacles out here twice okay so this person could be swayed by money easily two of pentacles juggling two ideas two situations or two people Eight of Cups, somebody walked away. They thought they were going to common waters with the Six of Swords collaboration, but you see there's three people there. Eight of Wands, there was a lot of passionate messages. Now, this person does have love for you. They might be telling you that they want to put in the work with this Eight of Pentacles, but it looks like you closed out the cycle with the world, and um, the world is Taurus, uh, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo, so that is definitely your energy. This person feels left out in the cold right now. All right, so let's uh, let's look at this Two of Cups overall energy. Spirit, why is this Two of Cups the overall energy? Thank you. Okay. So uh, the Two of Cups is soulmate energy. Um, that was probably the situation between you. Now, this person could have chose a Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag instead, because they thought that, that their ships were going to come in. That's one way of looking at this. Or you could have stepped into your Queen of Wands energy, like, you know what? I deserve better. I want real love. And then the Three of Wands, you are uh, looking for that and closing out this cycle. So uh, let's look at what you need to be working on right now, Spirit. I'm going to cut these because... Uh, they're new, and uh, my hands are little. Oh, one came out. Okay. Anything else, Spirit? No? Okay. Um, so what you need to be working on, it says here, my capacity to tune into the energy of love gives me the words I need. When I'm ready to speak up, the compassion I need when it's time to forgive and the power I need when I am lost. Now you had the Knight of Swords come up, meaning you had something you had to say. I feel like there's something that you need to clear out of your energy, something you need to tell this person. It may be how you felt. Maybe you need to do this before you walk away because it does look like you want to walk away. Spirit, can you show me what Aquarius' person needs to be working on? Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? Okay. I always trust the direction of the universe and I know I'm being guided. This person does not tap into their um, higher self. And that is how you guys ended up in this situation. I feel like you are more high vibrational than they are. Let's look at see if there's anything else we should know about the scenario. Spirit, can you show me what Aquarius's partner is feeling but not saying? Okay, several cards flipped over. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Spirit. So uh, the first one was release. They know you've released them, okay? And then I traded in uh, gold for Chuck E. Cheese coins. They know they chose wrong. They now recognize that this was a, a divine connection. And I felt every tear you cried. So they know that they put you through some bullshit. They know that they made a mistake. Okay? Now, let's go into this love and romance deck. And if you could hit the like button and help a sister out with this algorithm, it would be greatly appreciated. Spirit, can you show me the energy between Aquarius and their person, Spirit? Thank you. Okay, so you got separation, engagement, and wedding. So we are going to clarify those and see what's going on. 
Spirit, why is this separation here? For my Aquarius gang, why is separation here? Oh, that one wasn't part of it. Okay, so uh, somebody um, separated from this uh, situation because they thought they were going to get attention and a victory with this Six of Wands. Spirit, why is this engagement card here? So you guys could have been talking about engagement or they could have been talking about this new person, uh, talking to them about engagement, but there was too many options and that situation is not going to come to fruition if it's the other person. And it's if it's you guys, I feel like you're holding back from this person because you know that they still have options. Now this wedding card, Spirit, why is this here? So um, I feel like once you put down the burdens of this situation, Four of Wands, this person is going to realize that you are their happiness. I feel like they already know this. Okay, they may come back to you talking about let's get engaged. You're going to be looking at them like Betty is right here. Like what you talking about, Willis, right? holding back from them all right but they feel like losing you is a burden and four of wands would be the happy home right yeah that's what it looks like to me eight of swords they're stuck in a prison of their own making right now because they don't really know what to do here's the nine of swords sleepless nights and anxiety wheel of fortune they want another chance they know they broke your heart with the three of swords here you are, nine of pentacles, looking good, smelling good, feeling good, and being independent. You're chasing down your coins at this time. And when they come into you, you're not going to be sure what to do with this two of pentacles. You're going to weigh the ideas, but I feel like you're probably going to walk away from this person. All right, because I feel like a wedding, a, you know, a serious commitment is in your future. And this person, I feel, is going to be serious, but the thing is that you want you want something solid, right? And this Nine of Cups is still here in reverse, right? They're, they're still kind of um, a little messy, right? And this is why you're choosing to walk away. All right, so that's what I have for you guys. I just want to say thank you to my returning subscribers for coming through and spending a little time with me. And if you're a new viewer and you felt I resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and comment um, as I would love to have you as part of the Lovely Soul family. And hit the bell so you can be notified when I'm uh, uploading or when I'm going live, all right? I'm wishing y'all light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste.